This is a reminiscence of childhood of the poem called Chasing a Fox. The whole horizon of the meadow was a blaze of gold as the sun shone low upon the hill. With the tussocks of flames of light, we felt part of the glow as if in a dream. In the heart of the tawny fire came memories of the fox in chocolate sleeps. In the wild of high grass, we passed the time that seemed to last. Wandering around bushes of rose colored dragons, over which hovered the sky and fasting flies. We grew bored, so imagining the flowers to be our foes, we cut down the perfume creation, sticks we caught swords. From the rabbit worms, not in the land, a bed of fox fast and free. Sensing its danger, it started to hide among the trees. Now we just around me believe it became real. In such speed of sport, the seeds of thought were sown. We had something to kill. We entered in between the trees, charging between walls that were overflowing with ivy. Ready to find a path that we dwell too long, what hopes are we already drowned? Disturbing the stillness of unoccupied toadstools, a mess of his bottle submerged in the earth, the trees began to stir in a slight breeze, rather like swaying angry drunkards, rousing their wrath at the rowdy drum scattered. In the lights. The trees spilled the wine shadows when the scarlet click of the sun. We turned on torchlight upon the darkening night to find the fox, only to see the trees. They were like hunters protruding from half buried skulls, otherwise hardly moving their shadows, moving our torchlings. The fox to be seen. So we left the game and came out of the wood, climbing the hill to go home. The cloud of a deep red sky put the colour of mauve through the dusk, blending with the hues on the moonland fields, casting the blue on the distant hills. We turned to the down upon the trees. There was no gold light, only the dark moon. How